Yes, um, she's just given all of us women over 40 so much to look forward to. She is really a fantastic woman. She steamed up the screen in Thomas Crown Affair. Now she's the Transylvanian temptress, Natasha, in the new film, The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle. And I just happen to adore her. Here's Renee Russo. You know, you, there was so much about the Thomas Crown Affair. Mm -hmm. You and I had a nice conversation about it when the movie came out. And knowing about your spiritual background and everything, I asked you what your pastor would have thought of it, who, who had been my pastor as well in Los right. Angeles. But what, what was talked about so much I mean, that movie was that fact that finally there was a leading lady who held her own in the same pretty much age bracket as a man. Right. Was that... Did that surprise you how much emphasis was put on that at the time? Yeah, it really did surprise me because I, I, I there, it seems to me there are a lot of movies where the, I, it, listen, I'm his contemporary, yes. so it never dawned on me that we wouldn't be right together. Exactly. It just didn't, so when, when the movie came out and there was so much emphasis on because it was really about that and the haircut. It really wasn't Which, about much else. The acting, none of it. No, I agree. You, you got great reviews. It was reviews. pretty much the, you know, yeah. the haircut and that I was with someone my own age. That was pretty amazing. Yeah. And in real life, you are pretty much around the same age as your own husband? No, actually, I'm six years older. <laughs> I knew that, but I wanted to hear you say it. <laughs> and tell us how you met him. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I met him on a, on a movie that we both actually t turned down. And he's not an actor, though, right? You no, know, he's a writer. Uh -huh. And I said, no, I didn't really like the script. And, uh, you know, he, and, and he said, no, I, I didn't really... Well, I didn't really, like the script. I didn't like the script. He, he, he hadn't written it, no. So then they said, well, they're going to get a, a new writer, and, and uh -huh. would you be willing to meet with the writer? And I thought, oh, God, the script's so bad. How could it be, you know, good? So I said, okay, fine, I'll, I'll, I'll meet with him. And, and that's... After turning it down three times, he turned it down three times. So you see, if you're meant to be... It'll happen. I, I always think that in life, too, Kathy. I think if you think you're going to blow it somehow, just know you have God to sort of... You, you won't. I turned it down three times. I got another actress to do it, and then I still got the part. So it was meant it to was be. It was just really meant to be. Well, yeah. there's a wonderful scripture about that. All things work together for good That's in for Romans. Sure. Yeah. That where your own faith is just... You question it. I think uh, I haven't yet in my life... Oh God, uh, I had a reason to feel so abandoned, mm -hmm. I think. That, but I, I'm sure that there could be things that could happen that I would think, oh, where, where's God in this? Where's I, God I, may right be, I, I may be dying, you know. I, 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 no, it hasn't happened to me. Well, thank God for but that. But I'm sure that, you know. How do you approach the next role? Because you're here today to talk about a very, very different kind of movie. Right. When, when they give you a script that says it's the adventures of Bullwinkle and, you know. Right. Rocky and Bullwinkle, where, which we all grew up on. Right. After coming off a movie like The Thomas Crown Affair, what does one tend to think when they're offered that? I have to say, it, it's been my favorite role ever. <laughs> I mean, I love The Better Thomas Crown Cup. Affair. I loved you in Tin I liked Tin Cup, but, you know, it was so much fun to have the wig and the makeup and look so completely different, different voice, different movement, different everything, and I worked with some amazing people. I just had such an incredible team, so I have to say, she was so much fun to do. I loved her. So right off the bat, you were ready for something that campy and that... Uh, that campy, uh, yeah. and, and because you can completely hide behind it, too, I think. Yeah. I love have to reveal too much of myself at all, which Sometimes is a lot less. to retreat. I retreated. Uh huh. Which is put on a mask, acting, which was it? great. Yeah. Yeah. But so. the six-inch heels had to get old after a while. Yeah, you get in your contract that you get lots of massages when you do that. <laughs> I have so much to learn from this woman. <laughs> well, we're going to look at a clip of it right now. In this one, you, um, you and Natasha and Boris, and Boris, played by Jason Alexander, which is one of the reasons why you had to wear the six-inch heels to be that much that taller. Much taller. Than him. You are discussing how you should give up being spies. Yes. Okay. She enjoyed this, you can tell. <laughs>